Spotify in combination with Lumia Stream is probably nothing new for most people. But did you know that instead of the default Switch song album art, you can also use a nice widget? Or that you can even display the next song in the queue? Or that you can even just publish your entire queue? And, brand new, that you can also use YouTube music with Lumia Stream? Our developers are so fast that during the preparation for this tutorial, YouTube Music suddenly came along. So you can apply all the following to YouTube Music as well. For the examples, we use Spotify. Just imagine a slash YouTube Music when I say Spotify. But first things first. The Spotify Switch Song Alert is probably the most used Spotify feature. For those who don't know it, let's quickly show it again here. Method number one, Spotify switch song alert in the alert box. So let's go to overlays in the left sidebar. At the top right, we click on add new overlay. Give your overlay a name and set the resolution. Now click add layer on the left and select the alert box under alerts. The alert box is a cool tool because you can easily combine all 100 and plus alerts under one roof. Activate the alert box layer by clicking on it once and the right sidebar will appear. Select manage alert. Now we select manage alerts again in the top tab. In the following window, we now search for Spotify and select Spotify switch song. Now you are in the design menu for the Switch Song Alert. Here we only need to adjust the image and the font. Of course, you can customize whatever you want. Open the Image tab by clicking on it and click on Change Image. Switch to the URL tab, delete the content of the field and click the small variable icon. Search for Spotify and click on Spotify underscore now underscore playing underscore image. Click select and you will see your album art in the preview window. Now we quickly adjust the text and the basis for the alert is created. And you have created the standard alert for Spotify in a few steps, which will then show your song in the stream. The second method is to use the Spotify widget. So we create our overlay again or use one we already have. Click on add layer on the left. Under streaming tools, you will find the Spotify now playing layer. Activate the layer by clicking on it and the right sidebar will appear. If you want to show the current song, you don't need to change anything in the template under song title, song artist or song image. Above you will find a drop-down with different widget styles. Basic, Circle, Vertical, Outlined, Glow, Transparent, and Reversed. The style is totally up to you. But just having the thing on the screen is a bit boring. That's why our devs have come up with two new nice options. In the right sidebar under Appearance, you can now find two new checkboxes. Transition Disabled and Auto Hide Layer. Now tick Auto Hide Layer. Another field appears where you can set the duration and how long the layer should be visible. For this function, you don't need any actions or to hide the layer. Lumia does that all by itself. But since just appearing and disappearing is boring as well, we add some dynamics, so check transition disabled. As you can see, new options appear. Here you can choose one of the countless transition animations. Additionally, you can adjust the duration of the effect so that the transition fits your purposes. Please note that you can only preview this effect, so in OBS or the preview in the upper right corner. The last feature we want to show you in this tutorial shows you the next song or even the complete playlist. Let's leave our created Spotify widget as it is and create a second Spotify Now playing layer. We can now create one completely from scratch via add layer or we can make it simple and copy the existing one. 
Now we open the content tab in the right sidebar and change the variables. Just delete what is in the fields. We pull in a few seconds anyway what we need. Now click on the small variable icon and search for Spotify. Now the list offers us all variables that match Spotify. For song title we choose the variable Spotify underscore next underscore song. We repeat this for the next two fields. I think the names are self-explanatory with artist and image. This will look confusing for a moment because Lumia has to refresh the current queue first to make it look right. So play two or three songs and then the correct song and artwork should appear. A few refinements to the transition and it's really fun to watch the alert. But we don't have enough yet. Let our viewers see what's inside the jukebox. Click Add Layer and select Labels. Search for Spotify and select the label for Current Queue. This will directly give you a list of your playlist. Under Styling, I now set the font and color as I would like and turn on Scroll Text. Now we place our scrolling text where we want it and make it hidden. In Lumia Stream, we now create a command for our viewers. Click on Commands, Chat Commands and top right on Add Command. Select Overlay Actions and as type set layer visibility. Adjust overlay and layer and tick the box for set to on. We do the same in the end tab to make our queue disappear. Click on complete. If you want to use other features at the same time, you can set them. For this example, we just go to next step. As name, we use jukebox. Click next step. Since there is a lot to read, we set the duration to 12 seconds and everyone gets to use the command. Click complete and save. If your viewers now type exclamation mark jukebox, your queue will appear on the screen. Do you use Spotify and found this helpful? Post it in the comments. Like and subscribe to the Lumia Stream channel to stay up to date and have a luminous day.